sometimes we spend a lot of time working on creating a topology within EvenG and it still doesn't look quite as good as if we had just used an actual network diagramming software, something like SolarWinds or even Visio could dynamically or manually create a diagram that's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Lucky for us, EvenG has a way of importing that topology and we can logically map what our diagram says to what we actually have in the topology. So we could either interact with the EvenG topology or we could interact with the diagram itself. In this video, I'll show you how you can actually import your own network diagram and then map your nodes on your topology to what's in the diagram. Let's get going. So here we go. I've got this diagram here on the pane in EvenG and you can see it's not it's not great, is it, right? I mean, I could spend some more time and try and pretty it up, but it's it's not just, it's not what we want. So it's got some basic nodes and basic items in it, like a couple desktops, a couple switches, and a firewall. Or I could also look at what I've done in Visio, and this is, you know, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, and I would rather interact with something like this, even if it is on a basic level. So now that I've created what I want to do in Visio, here's what I can do to get started. I'll go to File, and then I'm going to export this particular diagram that I've created. And now I'm going to choose Change File Type and select PNG, the Portable Network Graphics here. I'll give it a double click and it'll actually bring up a diagram where we can go to save it. I'll save this on my desktop, like topology is what I want to call it, .png. And now it brings up some things that we need to change here. First things first, I'm going to change the color format to be 256-bit color, and I'm going to turn transparency color on. I'm also going to set the custom size here to 140 by 140 and click OK. Now I want to pause and say there are a bunch of different other ways that you can do this. You can actually go to File and Save As and simply just save this as a PNG format from the drop down right here or you could even use different screenshot utilities. Some versions of the Snip and Sketch or Snipping tool are able to sketch it or take a screenshot of it and save it as a PNG. There's also a utility called LightShot that can actually do screenshots and save it as a PNG. Just sometimes the version of the PNG can be a little bit finicky. So that's the steps that I went through to export my Visio diagram right here. So now that I've got it exported and it's called topology on my desktop, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump back into EvenG and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an image into this topology. Now it's not gonna be present on this topology right here, if you wanna do that, I've gone through that in other steps on how to actually make your diagrams and your visualization stunning by importing images into the topology. What we're doing here when we add a picture to the actual topology is it creates a logical topology. That's the idea here. So I'll add the picture and I'm gonna choose my screenshot that I called topology right here on the diagram. I'll click open and I have to give it a name. Let's call it something like topology, how about that? and I'll click add. Now again, like I said, you don't see it here because importing an image into the actual screen, it goes through different steps. You do that in the text and you can check that out in my video on how to create beautiful EvenG topology. But now that I have the logical topology in place, we can actually interact with it now over here on the left-hand side of the screen and choose logical maps. If I give that a click, I see my topology. I can give it a click and there it is. Now this isn't how I interact with it just yet. What I have to do is I actually have to click the edit button. So we see here I'm on switch one node one and this is where I want switch one to be. I'll click right here to assign switch one node one right here on place. So that node one here is what maps to switch one. Now if I click the drop down, I'll assign switch two and click right here. Now switch two is assigned. Now if I want to assign the firewall, I'll choose my ASAV node three and assign it right here to the firewall. Lastly, I'll assign my Docker containers, which were my desktop nodes right here with doc desktop five. And alternatively, you can actually map this to an outside lab or an outside extension by choosing that right there. And then you've got some text that you can edit. Ultimately, when it comes to mapping things to the outside node, I'd encourage you to check out the steps on how to do that within the EvenG Pro cookbook. That'll be in section 11, where you can find out the exact syntax that you need to type in right there. So with that in place, I'll scroll down and click save. And now I can kind of highlight how it works. I've got my nodes here up and running within the EvenG topology. And now if I bring up my logical map, I can click on topology here and I can now click on my firewall. And look at this, it launches the console of my firewall from my EvenG logical topology. Same thing goes with my switch one and same thing goes with switch two right there. 
So there's really not much to it. If you've got a little PNG file that's got a network diagram that you'd rather interact with, you can just import that as an image and then map your nodes from the topology into that image. That way you can just click on them and poof, there you go. Now you've got a different way of interacting with a network diagram that actually brings up nodes that you can work with. So that's been how to get started with the logical topology. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.